Hello, today I'm going to show you how to access ebooks and audiobooks through Spokane County Library District's digital library. To get started, what you'll need is your library card or at least a library card number, and you'll need to uh, click on your favorite browser. Today I'm going to be using Google Chrome. All right, so the first place that you're going to go is you're going to go to scld.org. Again, that's scld.org, and that is Spokane County Library District's main web page. Once you're there, you will scroll down to uh, this menu, and you're going to click on Digital Library. And this gives you access to many, many different databases for research but also gives you access to catalogs of ebooks and audiobooks. So today we're going to look at two, um, actually we're going to look at three, but the two primary ones that we're going to look at today are Overdrive and Hoopla. Um, and we're going to start with Overdrive. So to use Overdrive, you'll click on the icon. And then this is the the I would say the primary collection of ebooks and audiobooks, but the library is restricted to the number of copies that they have, and um, you know just like checking out a library you know a print library book, if the book is checked out and there's no additional copies, then you'll have to go on a wait list, which again is pretty self-explanatory when you're in the system. But just know that you know not all titles are going to be readily available. But what you can do is you can do a book search. So we'll um, I'm going to look for poet X. Ah, and look at that. You can see that uh, the library has it both as an ebook and as an audiobook. And right now, the audiobook is currently available. The way you can tell is you've got this icon here at the bottom that says audiobook and it says borrow. Borrow is um, highlighted in green. Whereas the print copy, which you can see because it says ebook, it says place a hold. So if I wanted to place a hold, then what I would do is just click that bookmark. Um, and this is where your, that library card number is going to come in hand. So I've already, you can see I've got mine um, here and I would just click sign in. Now, um, you can also access OverDrive using an app. So if you are someone who reads on your phone or knows that you'll be listening on your phone, please go ahead and download. You can either use the OverDrive app or you can use an app called Libby. And Libby is just basically the new edition of the OverDrive app. Um, it's a free app, and then you would just sign in again with your library card number um, and then telling uh, the application that you are going through Spokane County Library District. All right, so um, then, you know, once once you check the book out, it's, again, also very self-explanatory. You click on the book, it opens it up, um, and you are, are ready to go with listening. All right, so then we're going to head back to the... Oh, no, it's taking us to Libby. Um, Let's go back to the digital library, and now I'm going to show you Hoopla. Navigating in Hoopla is a little different. And of course, when the software prompts you, you're going to put in uh, your email um, and your password. So uh, again, I already have Hoopla set up, um, but the first time that I used this application, I had to go ahead and put in a username and password. Um, so you can use your, your Central Valley username and password, um, or if you have a private email account, you may also use that. All right, so within Hoopla, it navigates a little bit differently. So what you wanna do is you want to start by determining if you want to look at audiobooks or eBooks. We're gonna look at audiobooks, uh, number one, because there's a, there's more titles available through audiobooks in this application. So what it does is it automatically pulls up a collection of their most popular titles. But this isn't exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna actually page or um, scroll down to where it says, genres and collections, and I'm going to click to browse. 
Now what they've done here is they have taken collections of books and put them together. Now, since we're focusing on BIPOC authors um, and, and storytelling, uh, let's look at some collections that might be relevant to what you're looking for today. So the first one I'm gonna look at here is Asian Stories and Experiences. And so you can see that um, you know these are all books that fall under that that um, heading, a long walk to water. And as you can see, these are also all audio books. So let's see if there's one that resonates with any of us. Okay, so I'm going to choose listen slowly, and so then I would click on it now. The um, books that are in Hoopla are very different than um, Overdrive because you can check out multiple copies at the same time. So hypothetically, everyone in class could be listening to the same book at the same time. Um, and again, it's simple. You click borrow and then it will be downloaded and you can listen to it um, on you know your computer. And let's see as far as app is concerned oh and it looks like echo is available as well um, I will have to look in to see if, if there is actually a hoopla app it makes sense that there would be but um, who knows let's go back though and I want to show you some other um, categories that might be interesting to this unit so we have uh, black stories and experiences we have celebrating diversity and celebrating diversity for kids. Of course, this is the kids version is going to be a little more juvenile. We have Latinx stories and experiences. We have conversations about race. We have diverse narrators. So all of these, we have you know LGBTQ. Um, we have Native American stories. We have Muslim stories. So we have you know there's a there is a wide variety of um, diverse topics told by diverse authors. Um, so enjoy, find something that's gonna work for you, something that you're interested in or something that you've never tried before. It is all here for you. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me. It's Morgan Larson at mlarsen, L-A-R-S-E-N at cvsd.org. Thank you and enjoy reading.